Hi everyone, um, I'll turn that off, don't need that inside, do we? Lovely day outside by the way. Um, we're going to talk about camera collecting and this is about collecting Leicas and the dangers of collecting Leicas because there is a big danger. There are an awful lot of copies out there. Um, they're made by Fed or Zorki. There are also uh, ones actually marked Leica. Um, we'll go into those and I'll tell you and show you how to recognise uh, a real Leica. But beware, there are Leica manufacturers, Leica copy manufacturers, because after the war, um, all the copyrights, etc. On the, on the plans uh, became free. So there were countries like China who made one called the Shanghai. Now the Shanghai is a very expensive camera because it's so rare. So don't, because it's not a Leica and looks like that, and because it's got Shanghai on it, uh, and it, it, you know, if you can get it cheaply, buy it. And the same thing with Reed. Now Reed is an English manufacturer that started after the Second World War. They made what is considered an even better camera than the Leica, and it looks just like that, apart from it's got Reed on it. So those are obviously more expensive copies. Don't fall into the trap of buying a Fed or a Zorki copy because they really aren't worth that much money, even though they're quite nice cameras. I have a couple of fakes, so I'm going to show you those. I bought them because they were fakes, not because I was cheated. I'm not that silly, am I? Anyway, we're going to compare them. I'll show you what to look out for. Be careful because it's a trap you can fall into very easily, particularly on the internet. I'm also going to add right at the end a little thing you can do during the lockdown if we're still in lockdown. Um, I'm not sure you like that though, but anyway I'll tell you at the end. This is a little range of cameras we're going to look at. Let's have a quick look at some of the very strange Leicas you'll find on the market. These obviously aren't real ones. Leica would never have made anything quite as bad to taste as these. But there are collectors of them. I don't understand why, because they are in fact about as expensive as some of the Leicas on the market. I'd rather have a low quality Leica in bad condition than one of these. Well now we move on to some real fakes. Um, not real fakes, I suppose the counterfeit cameras. Um, these are the naughty boys trying to con us. This one, as you see, is marked Leica. Could probably con anyone uh, who didn't know what I'm about to tell you. Unfortunately, not a real Leica. Uh, great shame. It's had a painted top put on with a Leica engraving. Uh, they'll go to enormous lengths to, uh, to try and con you. Well, you can see from these pictures that the one has been added afterwards uh, slightly bigger. Unfortunately, it's got the number of a Leica 3 uh, from 1933. Well, here's a nice gold Leica, but unfortunately it isn't. It's a copy. If it wasn't a copy, I'd be a multi-millionaire. No, well, at least a millionaire. Um, those gold Leicas are extremely rare and very, very collectible. Now here's a good example. This is a two million pound camera sold by Bonhams in their auction rooms. Uh, I believe this is the one that was discovered on the Antiques Roadshow, uh, I think it was in about 2012. Yes, two million pounds. One of only three or four made, no one's really sure. And I think this is the only known example. So let's get on. I'm going to show you how to identify a real Leica against a fake one. Even though they look so similar that you could be taken in, particularly on the internet. The first thing you'll see is the Leica shut shutter button, which is a rounded top like this. Um, I haven't found a fake that's got exactly that on it yet. And this sort of mushroom shaped button is what you'll find on most of the copies. This is on a fed copy, um, a bit similar to the real Leica one, but has this knurled top on, top on it. 
Now another difference is if you look at the base plate, this is a Leica, rather scratch Leica. This is I think a Fed and this will be the Zorki copy. They're, the three screws are always a giveaway. I hear a lot of people saying that it's not a real Leica 2 if it's got these strap eyes on it. That is not true. Um, they could have been made with them or had them added afterwards very easily. Now this slow shutter speed wheel was also added to them later. This is in fact a Leica 3 by the way, um, but the Leica 2 did have it added at the factory if you wanted to. Or you could find them just with the black plate in its place. But they would be mainly converted cameras, so not in their original state. This is what nobody fakes with copies. This is the Focus or Rangefinder Activator. Now this, of course, is a fake. Um, it's the fake Zorki. Here we have the fake Fed. And you'll see it's a totally different shape. Now what about the real Leica? Well this is what it should look like. Now of course if you're buying on the internet and you don't see this angle so um, you don't know so always ask for a photograph with the lens off looking up so you can see this round focus activator. Now let's have a look at viewfinders. The, if we get a close-up of the viewfinder you'll see the little viewfinder has a rounded edge. Now that rounded edge is very important. There is also a ledge on top of the viewfinder. Now that shows it's a real Leica as well. Now here's the fake. No rounded edge at all on the viewfinder and absolutely flat on the top. No ledge. There is also a difference on the black Leicas. The black Leicas have a, has a different viewfinder like this, but that ledge is always there. Now Leica lenses, there are copies as well. Now you can see with this one, it's a real Leica. That screw is the focus stop. Uh, whereas on a fake Leica, the focus screw is a lot higher, strangely enough. The Leica lenses are engraved with a number. And that's important if it hasn't got the number on. And I'm talking about, of course, this particular lens, which is the Elmar 3.5 50cm. And we can compare it to the gold lens I have here, which obviously has no room to even in, in, engrave a, a number. Well, what do you think of that? Firstly, what can we do in lockdown? Well, you're not going to like it. But the thing to do is get your instruction book out and learn everything about your camera. It's very simple. If you can't, for example, if you can't change your autofocus from follow focus to recomposure focus very quickly, you're going to miss out on pictures. You're going to miss, suddenly you see a bird flying through the air, you want to grab, flip it over and off we go. I mean, it's not too difficult to do, but if you don't know how to program that into your com into your camera, not computer, into your camera, you're going to miss it. Well, I hope that avoids you spending money on a fake Leica.